there's a lot of hard work to um, to to put on the field before we get the opportunity to to win a World Cup. But um, you know, we'll be focusing on England. They've you know been in South Africa for a couple of weeks training, and you know you, you can tell what their intentions are. So you know, I'm sure that first game is going to be a tough one. So that's our focus at the moment. You expecting some beef? I'm expecting a bit of hard I hope work. Not, right? <laughs> <laughs> Purely legal. Purely legal. Yeah, oh, it's, it's going to be tough. They're, they're all test matches, so everyone's playing for their country. And you know, we know when we pull on this green and gold jersey that we're very proud and we want to do our best for our country too. So no one's going to be taking a backward step, and um, you know, everyone's going to want to start the tournament off on a good note. So you know, it's on uh, England's home soil, and I'm sure they're going to be, um, you know really ready to go this first game so we need to make sure that our preparations are tip top. The coach said complacency is probably the biggest danger. I mean do you allow that to creep in? I don't think there's going to be complacency. Um, you know, for one we're playing for our country. Um, and two we've we've got a, a great squad of twenty four so you know the competition for spots is um, is quite fierce. So identifying the mistakes learned from in our eight, was complacency one of those mistakes? Yeah I'm not too sure. I'll leave that up to you to work out. Billy, uh, you've been there before and you know what it's like. Um, first part of the question, I suppose, how is it different to a state of origin or a grand final? Yeah. Um, well, they're all different. State of origin is totally different to a grand final, the, the build-up and, um, you know, the history. Whereas a World Cup, you know, it doesn't come around that often. You know, you, you're very lucky to play in one, let alone two. So, um, you know, it's just the opportunity. Um, it, it's like the Olympics; they, they come around every four or so years, and um, this one's every five years. Uh, this one's five years since the last one, so it's um, you know, it's a long time between drinks, and you just want to make the most of your opportunities. Sorry, guys. And, and what do you say to those teammates who who might be on their first one and haven't had the experience of it before? How do you help them prepare for for a pretty big stage? Oh, I don't think you need to. I, I think everyone in this squad's. Um, you know, played at the highest level in Australia, and um, you know they they don't really need any um, any advice or anything like that. It's it's more about just getting out there and and playing your role to the best of your ability. And you know, obviously the the team um, will gel from that. If if you're playing your role well, well, you know you're doing your bit for the team. Billy, as Tim said, that the the teams you're facing, many of the players have actually improved by coming into the NRL. If these are guys you've played against on a weekly basis. Does that make it easier or more difficult for you or has no, no effect at all? Um, it, well, you, you know what you're up against, obviously watching guys like Gareth Widdop and, and Sam Burgess and, um, and those sort of guys running around the NRL, you know what you're up against, but they also know what they're up against as well. They, they watch us and play against us and with us um, week in and week out. So it's, um, yeah, it's gonna be a great, Great competition, and um, you know, New Zealand are another side that have got a great squad, a very talented. Um, you know, you look at their their young halves, and you know, the one's really tough, and um, you know, will take you on all the time. And the other guy's got lightning speed, and if you're uh, a little bit lazy in defence, well, he's going to find you out. So um, you throw in the likes of Sonny Bill and um, Hargraves, and, and you know, they, they've got a they've got a great side, a great balance, and you know, obviously we're not worrying about them right now, but. You know, they're um, they're going to be there at the end of the, the tournament and they'll be hard to beat as well. Billy, what? you got to catch up with the 63-64 Kangaroo side last week. What, what advice did they sort of <laughs> give you? Yeah, Noel Kelly gives a, a few tips, but uh, <laughs> probably not legal these days. But um, yeah, no, it, it was just really good to to um, you know start our, our camp off like that, having lunch with um, the 63 touring side. and. You know, just some of the stories that they, they told and um, you know, I think they went away for four months or six months and you know, we're only going away for seven weeks so it um, you know, puts it all into perspective and you know, just the passion that they, they showed for their, their country and the stories that they told, it's, you know, it's a great time to be involved in rugby league and to go over there and represent your country, you know, the way they were talking, they, they never forgot it so I'm sure in uh, 40 and 50 years time when, when we'll be talking about it, it'll be you know, some of the, the times of our lives. Do you think the Kiwis have done the right thing by allowing Sonny to come in late to their squad? Oh, that's, you know, that's their decision. You know, I, I'm just worried about you know, focusing on, uh, on us. I won't worry about them. What does he bring to their team? Oh, Sonny's a great player. He's, um, you know, you, you've seen what he bring to, the, bring to the Roosters this year and um, what he bring to rugby league in general. He's, um, he, he's dynamic, he's, he's tough. 
he's going to get through all that hard work, but he's also going to um, cause a threat on the edge. He, his, his ball playing and you know the lines he runs is you know second to none in the in the game. So he's you know, he's a very talented player and very professional one at that. Oh, just on travelling to England, I mean, how do you adjust to all those conditions from your experience over there and the long plane trip some of these guys may not have done? Yeah, it's it's tough. Um, it doesn't really matter what you do. You're always going to get jet lag. You're always going to be waking up at two in the morning and can't get back to sleep. Um, you know, that's just got to run its course. Um, you know, we'll be we'll be trying to do things on the plane and to get things um, to fast track our our jet lag, but. At the end of the day, we've just got to get through it. That's why we're going over a little bit earlier, and um, you know it's important for us to get over there that week and a half early, so we can focus on the game that that first week. So the preparation is is very important in our um, in our squad, and you know hopefully we can prepare really well for this first game and and get off to the the tournament on a good start.